Welcome to Zoological World today we will discuss about Blue Belly Lizard. The Blue Belly Lizard, also known as the Western Fence Lizard, is among the most common reptiles in the western United States. They are often seen bathing in the sunlight around outdoor trails or buildings and homes. The sparkling blue scales of the male lizard are a distinctive marker of this species. These scales serve an important role in the reproductive process. This article will cover some interesting facts about the identification, habitat, and diet of the blue belly lizard in the wild, as well as how to care for them as pets. Scientific name The scientific name of the blue belly lizard is Celeporus occidentalis. The genus name Celeporus is derived from two Greek words, skelos, meaning leg, and porous, meaning pore or hole. This is in reference to the large pores in the leg that release the pheromones. The species name Occidentalis is simply the Latin word for West. The genus to which it belongs also includes other fence lizards and spiny lizards, all of which are common to the United States. Appearance The blue belly lizard can be identified by the tan or gray-colored scales with wavy stripes on the back and bright blue scales around the sides and bottom of the abdomen. Only the adult male has this bright blue coloration. The female and juveniles tend to have just the duller gray scales. One of the major identification markers for the entire genus is the presence of sharp, spiny scales. Hence why the genus is called the spiny lizards. Most members of this species measure somewhere between 4.3 inches and 8.3 inches long from the tip of the head to the end of the tail. They have long and sharp claws that enable them to easily climb trees. While they do look quite similar to the eastern fence lizard, their range doesn't overlap at all, which should make identification easier. Behavior like all other reptiles, the daily behavior of the blue belly lizard is oriented around the ambient outdoor temperature of the surrounding environment. Because they can't produce enough of their own body heat to survive, the blue belly lizards need to spend much of their time absorbing sunlight. They can be seen in the daylight hours sunning on rocks, stony paths, logs, and fence posts. They tend to prefer high places, but any location will work for them. Their scales frequently change colors from light to dark, but this is probably done for the purpose of regulating temperature, the amount of heat they absorb, rather than camouflage. The blue belly lizard tends to remain by itself for most of the year. The only time they come together is briefly in the mating season, when the males maintain and defend their own territory. When the winter arrives, they take shelter in crevices or holes and then enter a state of hibernation in which their activity and metabolism are massively reduced. The length of the time they hibernate depends on the surrounding temperature of their environment. Habitat The blue belly lizard is found all over the westernmost part of the United States, including the states of Utah, Idaho, Nevada, Washington, Oregon, and Arizona. However, the greatest concentration occurs in the state of California. It is also found in small parts of northern Mexico. This species is comfortable in all kinds of habitats, including grasslands, forests, farmlands, and shrublands. It tends to avoid the harshest deserts, because it needs a nearby source of water to survive. Six subspecies are generally recognized. The Great Basin Fence Lizard, the Northwestern Fence Lizard, the Sierra Fence Lizard, the Coast Range Fence Lizard, the San Joaquin Fence Lizard, and the Island Fence Lizard. This last subspecies is found only on the Channel Islands off the coast of California. The other subspecies generally stick to the geographical range indicated by their names. What eats the blue belly lizard? This species is preyed upon by coyotes, snakes, bobcats, hawks, and numerous other birds and mammals. While the open spots in which they soak up sunlight do potentially expose the lizard to predators, they employ a number of defensive measures to get away. If threatened, the lizard can completely detach the tail from its body. The tail will eventually grow again about three to five weeks later, but it may have a different length and color pattern than the old one. The lizard also has remarkably fast reflexes to evade potential predators. It will often run into bushes or scurry up trees.